Sunday is such a full day that I don't know how I'm going to manage to tell you all of it in one hour. It's an exceptionally, it maybe it's the most varied and, most, and richest day of the whole festival. Arensky was closest to Tchaikovsky. He was a great admirer and a close friend of Tchaikovsky. 1894, he wrote a string quartet to the memory of Tchaikovsky. That's the one we're going to hear tonight, Opus 35. Once there was a real triangle drama with uh, very famous uh, musicians. Uh, um, one uh, string player had his actual wife and uh, his ex-wife here in Kuhma at the same time. But then he fell in love with his future wife also here in Kuhma. And at the same time there was uh, a very famous pianist who was also in love with, uh, with the same future wife of the string player. So this uh, uh, musician played uh, a Schubert piece and uh, when uh, that was a trio uh, where played also his uh, wife of the moment. The trio performed and they finished playing together. They went out but afterwards to, to bow for the applause, only two of the trio came on stage. <laughs> we have here sisters and brothers playing together. We have father and daughter, daughter and mother, son and mother, and, and so forth. All, all kinds of combinations. Uh, and I think this is also an important side theme, uh, at least once in the history of a festival, because so much in chamber music has been based on families playing together at home. So I just wonder why we are so categorically nowadays avoiding this kind of uh, basic elements in chamber music. <laughs> C'est ma future tourneuse de page. Ah. In the beginning we had uh, music courses for about 25 students, mainly coming from north of Finland. And now we have 130, 140 students coming from all over the world. Uh, it took maybe 15 or 20 years to achieve that number. For the artists, uh, I could say that in the beginning we were around 10 and now depending of the theme of the festival either 150 or 250 between 150 and and 200 is a usual number Chamber music is very important for me because 
when you're playing an orchestra you every time have the feeling of sitting in a huge group with 80 artists or something but then chamber music you really need to go back to yourself and listen what everyone is playing especially if we're only playing a, a trio or something this sapper has written three operas and lots of other vocal pieces one of his most recent masterpieces is a lovely cello concerto which in, uh, sometimes re makes me, uh, m reminds me of Lindbergh's own cello concerto. But here we have a solo cello piece. Immer. He's written a lot for the cello, and in recent years he's become associated with the performer of tonight, Sonia Vida Atherton, who is, in my mind, the most brilliant, the most gifted young French cellist. one of uh, Dussapin's piece for cello solo, uh, all beginning by letter I, Immer in Vecce, in Chisa. He's very close to the cello, Pascal Dussapin, and uh, he explores a um, universe of sounds, of uh, emotions, of language that is very impressive. Probably what is uh, striking in, in his writing is you cannot say that he's from that school or that school. Uh, as I said, it's a very emotional writing. Uh, the form is very strong, and probably I would say that there's an inner fight as if he was giving himself rules, and then he would, uh, as long as the piece is going on, try to break the rules and get out of what he said at the beginning that has to be. In order to keep this festival alive, I have to create new themes, new ideas all the time, because many things have, are the same. I mean, the scenery in Kuhmo is the same, the concert hall is the same, the people and feeling of the place is the same. But in order, in order to create a unique artistic ex expression and uh, uh, experience for everybody joining this event, the, the program has to be fresh. This year I decided to do a fantasy type of festival. I took uh, three large themes, uh, Mediterranean Sea, one sea, uh, Vienna, one city, and Russia, one country. And from these huge, rich themes, I could build up a, a fantasy of music, where of course there's st structure, because I follow the themes, uh, and uh, one must take into consideration that during the Habsburg time, actually, Vienna was co very much in communication with St. Petersburg and, uh, and also Madrid, Italy uh, and so forth.
Usually festivals are organized uh, so that uh, artists are invited and uh, the concerts are marketed by the names of artists. But in my opinion, festival uh, foundation should be um, based on programming. And um, if the artists decide what they perform, you will get a separate event. What makes us different is that um, we all uh, are part of the non-verbal drama to which we contribute, being member of a group which is again member of one of the performers in each concert, and each concert leads to, to the next concert. So, uh, and uh, a week has a form, and the 15 days total duration of the festival has uh, a meaning and form of an artwork. There's another Schnittke piece at night. This is a very strange combination. Mahler, when he was 16, wrote a single movement for a piano quartet and then started another movement which he left unfinished. Schnittke, as a great admirer of Mahler, has chosen to elaborate Mahler's sketch and complete it. So what we're going to hear tonight is a first movement by Mahler and a second movement by Schnittke after Mahler's sketch. Thank you. 